Good evening, everybody, and it is great to have you here. I am super, super, duper excited to have you here with us this day. We are Toko Taya, the, the Crafter's Companion. He's Toko, and I am Taya. And together, that simply means husband and wife. <laughs> yes, we're talking about the practice of companion. And for over 30 years, cumulatively, we have been dedicated to the business of crafting. We've done various crafts, ranging from tailoring to um, household items to bidding. And with the bidding, we actually established ourselves and we made it a household name business. Yes. Run a very, very diversified shop in an open market, selling beads and things that are related to beads and bidding and a little more. Now, doing that business, which has spanned over a period of 10 years, gives us an opportunity to also affect people's lives around us. We're sharing with you three people that we have directly affected their lives. One, Choma. Choma is a very is a young lady. At the time, she she wanted to start up a business because at that time she was an orphan. And she was living in, an, in a hopeless place. So you know what? We put her through. We helped her manage her funds. And we took her through the process of starting a business. And she built a very profitable business around her craft. Remember, money is not your problem in business. Your idea would make you money. So we told her that forget the fact that you don't have funds to do this. With us beside you, we'll be able to crush that problem. And we did. We did. Now, let's talk about Elion. Yes, Elion is a woman. Of, she, she's a woman of um, two children. She wanted to start a business and she didn't know how to go about it. She had rented a shop and she was looking for a way to stock her shop. And you know what? Just like we have, we came on a case and we told her that you don't need to lock up that shop. You can start. And you know what? We encouraged her and we gave her some material and she started and she grew that business. Okay, so I will be talking about Heritage of Yahweh. You can find that on Instagram. She's a lady that when we met, she was a little aged, but she was job hunting. So I told her about herself. Babe, at this age of yours, it might not be a shot. I would, I would not employ you. <laughs> and I'm not sure you'd employ yourself. So we told her, take your craft seriously and grow it. And she did. And in one year, she had grown that business to something that could employ people. Now, the thing I want you to understand is we have been in this business of helping people establish themselves in the business of crafts for a considerable period of time, and we've done it wholeheartedly. We have experience, we have understanding, we know what it is, what it takes, and we can help you grow, start, and scale your business. Well, we'd also like you to know that after sitting a while in our locale and doing our business there for a while, mm -hmm. we got uncomfortable and we thought- We desired more, we just wanted more. There's that thing in humans that really want more. So we wanted more, and we thought, at that time, we got tired of the amounts we were paid for our services and for our knowledge. We just wanted more. We saw our counterparts and we saw the amount they were taking. And we thought to ourselves, how can we earn more? And that led us on the journey. And the journey is what has brought us together today. Remember, if I was doing my business in my shop somewhere at the back, <laughs> you wouldn't be sharing this time with us. Now, that business evolved, evolved, it grew. And the new information we got produced two new businesses. One, Tech, tech. Tokotaya, Entrepreneurs and, and Crafters Hub. That's the community that you are in. It's a community for crafters, solely for crafters. It's a community on Facebook. It's a Facebook group that concentrates on helping crafters sell more. Our business is to help you make millions out of your business. Craft. Simple. Simple. Two, we have also taken our mom and pop shop in a local locality. <laughs> So become an international entity now by providing for you www.tokoktayacrafts.com, a website that is solely, fully dedicated to providing craft materials to crafters like you and me. We make it easy for you to shop. We make it awesome, super easy, you get convenient a, a, a lot of for you to shop. Craft that craft material that you can't imagine. You will see it there. Now, we also realized that there's change upon us. And we noticed that this change is our responsibility to birth this change in our industry. That's the major reason why we have such a unique name for our crafters group, tech. In this present day and age, it is totally necessary that we infuse tech with our crafts. 
it, it, you can't just be a crafter. You can't just, I know as a crafter, we, most times we are buried into our business. We enjoy sitting down, creating things. But the truth is that the world we live in is changing and you actually must change with the world. Otherwise, you cease to exist. So, you know what? You have to infuse tech into your craft business. And that's where, why we are here and that's what we want to help you do. Now, we are your companion. That's how we like to be known. That's how we are called. Why? Because we serve more than a coach. We serve more than a mentor. We are people that are in this same situation with you. We know how it feels. We know where the shoe hurts. We know where it pinches. We know where it bites. We are crafters just like yourself. And we can keep your company in this journey that is growing your craft to mega millions. Well, our focus today is to help you, our customers, to get more customers. Who likes the sound of customers? You know, where there are customers, naturally, there's Business more tribes. money. <laughs> well, we'll be teaching you from the wealth of our experience and from our knowledge bank. We have worked a lot of these themes, these ideas. We know the ones that work and we know the ones that do not work. We know the ones that you don't need to spend your time over. We've wasted a lot of money trying to learn and verify things. And we've had wonderfully good experiences getting answers. We'll be sharing this with you in this class. So, go along with us. As we get in on our slides, 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 where we are. Okay. So welcome to class. We're glad to have you in class. We believe you are here because you want to take your business to the, the next, next level. level. The topic of today's class is the new secret of getting consistently paying customers without stress. How many of us here would like to constantly get customers? I'm sure you would like, you would want to constantly get customers because without customers, your business is actually on the way to dying. So for your business to survive, you need paying customers, people who can pay for your services, the right value you deserve. Like we said, we are top of tire. We've done the introduction. Okay, watch out. Coming soon. How to make your first million from your craft business. It's a book by us. It's awesome. You would love it. Uh, what we do, we are crafters. And we know the stress that crafters go through to produce lovely handmade products. As crafters, we are buried in the business of producing lovely handmade products. Counter production, what next? We start looking for ways to sell this craft material. So it's very important. And that's why we are here. We help crafters uh, sell their craft. Sell their craft. You understand that a lot of crafters are underpriced because they are not selling to their right markets. And there's a, there's a lot of times where the supply is actually more than the demand, then there's a tendency to now compete on price. At the end of the day, most crafters out-compete themselves. Yes. So we are here to help you to take you away from that low level of scrounging and doing price competition. You don't need to do that again. So we'll help, uh, we'll help crafters to get more customers for their handmade products. Our burning desire is to see as many crafters as possible successful. Our, our focus is to help you make millions from your, from your craft. craft. That's our focus. Help you make millions from your craft. We understand how it works. We know it is very possible. We've done it again and again. And we want to help you to achieve the same. Yeah, what was the turning point in our lives? Like she said earlier, we're doing our mom and pop business. But at the point... We well, enjoy knowledge, we enjoy, we enjoy a lot of things. We just had a discomfort with what was going on around us. We wanted more. We, we wanted, wanted more. We were actually underpriced as well, and we just wanted more. You know, we wanted our business to be able to do for us more things than it was doing at the time. So, you know what? So the people around us, they looked successful, it was enviable and all that. But for us that were practitioners in it, we knew that this thing could do a whole lot more. We knew it could do a whole lot more. So the, the yearning for more is what has brought us this far. That yearning for more. And I'd like you to know that as a crafter, if you don't have a yearning for more, you cannot get more. You need to be hungry. You need to yearn for more. That is what can help you succeed. Okay, today we will learn about the most important thing to make your business grow. My mass friend, can you tell us what you're doing in your mass <laughs> Learning advertising. What's advertising? Advertising is simply 
putting your products and services in front of, of people. people that will pay for your products and services. Whichever way you choose to do Those it. days, advertising was just showed up on TV in front of anybody and everybody. These days, advertising is a lot more precise than that. You can choose who you show up in front of and determine the kind of customers you want your products to be shown to. So that's advertising. Advertising is very, very important. We understand that a lot of business people, a lot of crafters, do not take into cognizance the need for advertising. A lot of people think that once they open a shop on a corner somewhere, a good plot, business will move. I'll shock you. You're not correct. I ran a shop in the market and it's still running over 10 years. I can tell you, it is not location that moves your business. I've tried locations. I've run, I, I had a shop in the market. I had an office on the street. I know what it is. It is not your, what moves your market is, it is, advert, it is putting yourself in front of your customers that makes you sell. Why is advertising important? Advertising is important because that is the means through which you put yourself in front of your customers. And that means when your goods and services are in front of the right people, you will sell. And you know what sales means? Without sales, there is no business. Now, please remember that there are two, three classes of customers. We have the cold, we have the warm, and we have the hot. You consistently need to reach out to cold customers, people that do not know you, that are seeing you at first. Those people are the ones that will consider coming to your business and they become warm. And they are the ones that will increase your customer base, your loyal customers, people that hot are coming to you to buy consistently. Basically, that's the framework that guides this. But there's a little bit to that than all that has been said. Now we have different channels of advertising. Channels. You can advertise through TV. Very expensive, but people are using it. You can advertise through websites, Google, all those things. An option. You can advertise through social media. That can be free. That can be paid. You can advertise on online platforms. You can advertise. On radio, you can advertise through word of mouth, which is very, very, very effective. Recommendation is very effective, but it is not very good. You can't just rely on the word of mouth. That should be the icing on the cake. It should be the jar, it should be the pissy on it the should, cake. Um, getting your business to grow by word of mouth should actually be a fallout of awesome customer service. Yes. It shouldn't be the only source. It, it shouldn't, shouldn't be, be how you expect your business to grow. It should be the extra. It should be the extra. Now, we'll be focusing a little bit more on social media marketing. Why? Because it's about the most effective and the cheapest means of getting your business out in front of targeted audience. Now, when we mean social, social means relating. Everybody, in fact, grannies, the young, are we all online. socialize. We all socialize. There are over 500 platforms for socializing. And media means the platform through which we socialize. Yeah. Social media is mixing with people <laughs> via mediums. <laughs> now we have different mediums, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and iMode. There are a whole, whole, whole lot of whole them. Lot, whole lot. But the most popular of these ones today are WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook, and Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Focus LinkedIn. of this class, LinkedIn, will be on WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram. What does advertising on social media, what does it do for you? What does it do for us? It allows us to reach the world. It allows you to reach the people more than your vicinity or locality. Social media is a very powerful thing. Oh, oh, You're welcome. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome back to class. Okay. Social media is a very powerful medium of advertising because everybody falls into social media. So it helps you reach new people, it helps you reach more people apart from your location, it helps you charge your price effectively because you are reaching out to new people that are interested in your business. We have said about the types of social media that we have, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and a lot of them. Now, I want you to know that there are things to do to effectively market on WhatsApp. Your status is an interesting marketing tool on WhatsApp. A broadcast list is an interesting marketing tool on WhatsApp. Um, a group. I think she can. Yeah. 
your WhatsApp group is also an interesting marketing tool on WhatsApp. A lot of people underutilize their WhatsApp contacts. And that's something that is very scary. On WhatsApp, you have what we call warm and hot audience. Generally, the people you reach out to on WhatsApp are people that you have a level of relationship with. It's generally easier to sell to those sort of people, and it's also easy to get them to sell on your behalf. WhatsApp is a key marketing tool for the crafter, and we want you to consider using it very, very seriously. There are things to, to do WhatsApp marketing, especially. there are a couple of things you need to do about storytelling. You need to sell. Ah. Quite noisy. I'll just stop sharing. Stop sharing. Yeah, I'll, I'll just okay. okay, gang. Yeah, are you unmuted all? Have I unmuted all? Okay, so we can continue. Okay. There are things to do on WhatsApp. Storytelling, like I said. The reason why some people sell out and why some other people don't sell out is because they don't know how to tell the story. So storytelling is an important part of WhatsApp. And like you said, there are other things. If I say to you, stories. buy my shirt, it will make you look fine. <laughs> or I said to you, do you know the shirt that Soso Fetty wore on so 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 Day that actually helped him to get a job? Which of the two shirts would you likely want to buy? Somebody that wants to get a job will think, if this shirt can help me get a job, is it not better to buy it? Mm -hmm. So that, that, that's a bit of an example of storytelling for sales. Then we have social medias that are very popular, Facebook and Instagram. On Facebook and Instagram, you can actually run free promotions or free presents, or you can run paid presents or free traffic or paid traffic which is the more popular way people describe it. What does it take for you to get free traffic on social media? You need to make presence. And a lot of people hear this and they think it is um, like, 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 calo, calo. <laughs> Please. Like, if life was calo, calo, there would not be a need for work. If life is calo, calo, nobody will need to work. So for you to do any of these things and to do them successfully, you need to have certain mindsets. You need to have the I can do spirit. So the truth is that it's a new terrain. It's something you are learning and new. So there's a high tendency for you to be frustrated. But you know what? You wouldn't let frustration set in. You wouldn't let frustration. It's something that you know that it's beneficial to your business. Then you go ahead and you do it. It's just like when we are in school, the way we take off things, because you know there's an exam coming, you study and you do all of it. Now, this is real life. When you know that this thing is beneficial to me and my business, then you have to take it seriously. So the I can do spirit, then, and then, then opt, be optimistic. Have this optimism that what you are doing will work. will work. You need to trust the process. Trust the process. A lot of times, as humans, there's this high tendency for us to... Check Not back, believe. cross check, lose faith. <laughs> to lose faith, to keep asking, is this thing really working? No, 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 no. Then another thing, it's a whole, it's work. So you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work. Well, we can help you make it a lot easier, but it will not stop being work. You still have to be the one to run your heart, to put your pictures, to write your stories. So it's work. And you have to then you will have to be committed to it. Let's take, let's, take, let's take it from this point. The average Nigerian today is a graduate. And it took most Nigerians between five and eight years to get their degree. As the average time we spend with ASU strikes. How many people give up because ASU is on strike? How many people give up because lecturers are frustrated? <laughs> we stay committed to that course. Even though at the end of it, we are not sure it's going to get us a job or anything. But at least we'll get a certificate. And for that certificate, we stay committed, we stay consistent, we keep grinding, we keep running. That is something that we need to put in mind when we are doing things that are actually consistent.
sequential for life. You start a business today and you hope to run the business five, ten years. You need a level of consistency. Yes. You need commitment. Now, let me quickly share a story. Um, over ten years ago, I was introduced to internet business. And you know what? I ran back. I was so scared of all the jargons, the names, you did it the. Yeah, hey, I waited for six months. <laughs> I ran back. I couldn't stay. Yeah, look at me now. No, let's let, 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 let's say a little more. For us <laughs> to get online those days, we had to get a box phone, multi links. Oh, so because of our location, we had to get an antenna outside. I'm talking about maybe 140,000 naira to just get internet access. <laughs> <laughs> and after all of that, after six months, I just thought, oh, this one life is not worth it. Then my shop in the market is paying. What am I doing this trip? This is the reality. It is 10 years after. And all the people that we started together at that time today are comfortable billionaires. Billionaires. So, like they say, the harder it is, the, the more rewarding. rewarding it is. So, we encourage you to stay on. So, are you, you are not done with this. Then to run Facebook ads, you need to open. Okay, what is Facebook ads? On Facebook, we do what we call sponsored ads. You can come on Facebook and you can do posts. People will see you. But Facebook is more dedicated to you if you're a paying customer. And that's where the term Facebook ads or sponsored ads comes in. When you run sponsored ads on Facebook, you can actually, okay, you will need some couple of things before you can run sponsored ads on Facebook. You need to open a business page. You need to know your audience. Very important. If you would run a successful Facebook ad, then you need to know your audience. You need to know the people you want to sell to. This is something that you have to, um, you, in fact, we take a whole lot of time to emphasize this. You need to know who you are selling to. At the end of this class, we'll be making an offer, and part of the things that you will get in that offer is how to determine your audience, or better described, how to know your avatar. It's called the avatar. Take, for instance, I like using an example. If you are selling cheap necklaces, who would be your ex who would be your let's use something more generic okay if you want to sell sport cars no 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 no, it's not generic <laughs> you don't sell no it's generic can you sell sport cars to an average old man obviously not would you sell it to an average mother <laughs> no so you need to look for the kind of what kind of people will drive sports cars guys that like sports yes guys Talk that like guys. attention <laughs> <laughs> guys that have money guys that like power those are the kind of people that will drive sports cars. And that is the audience for sports cars. So you really need to know who you are selling to. It's very important. Are you selling to the housewife? Are you selling to the working class mother? Are you selling to the working class single? Are you selling to the children? All of these okay, things. Let me use the quarter your example. If you're a lady that wants a husband and you're packaging yourself for the guy, are you packaging yourself for a bricklayer? Or are you packaging yourself for a banker? Or better still, are you packaging yourself to be the wife of a pastor? Because all of these things will determine the kind of packaging you will carry. Yes. The if same. you want to marry a Yahoo boy, you want to have panache and presence like a Yahoo boy will. If you want to marry a pastor, you want to look the part of a pastor's wife. And that's the same thing here. You need to know who you are talking to because that is how you will package. And that's the major, that's the key thing about the way you audience. address um, a full-time housewife is different from a working class single, is different from a working class marriage, and all of these things matter. So you need to know who you are selling your product to. Now you need to know what you want to achieve with the ad you are running. Are you running an ad on Facebook just because you want to get video views or you want to get likes? Or are you running the ad because you want, you want to, to get sell? sales? Are you running the ad because you just want people to be aware of your business? You need to know. Then as you grow online, you will need to grow to having your own website. Yes, you will need to grow to having your own website. Well, we're saying a lot about Facebook ads, but I want you to know that Marketing via social media is not limited to Facebook ads. No, it's not. It's the ultimate. But there are other things you can do that can be equally or even more effective for you at a level. For example, your WhatsApp can be amazingly, astonishingly effective for you at certain levels. 
just making presence on social media can be very, very effective too if you understand certain things. So you do not need to run first into Facebook ads, although it's going to serve you a lot of edge. And if you are in this class, you have learned Facebook ads before, I will want to encourage you not to give up. You get better by you. We learned how to talk. We learned how to walk by consistent practice. And the fact that if the child walk, fell down and said because he has fallen down after taking one step, he won't try to take another step. Human beings will not be walking with all the rolling on the floor. It is in spite of the falls that we get up and we try again. So failing at it does not mean it's bad. It just means you have to learn and stick. Like we said, be committed. Advantages of running Facebook ads. It's very effective in reaching out to people. If you know how to use it very well. Cost effective. Very effective. And it has very good ROI. ROI means return on, on investment. investment. There is no money you spend on advertisement that goes to waste. I can tell you that for free. And it's the cheapest means of advertisement. We have Google ads, we have YouTube ads, LinkedIn ads, but Facebook Twitter. is the cheapest for now. So that's why we encourage people to use it. It allows you to reach out to a lot more new people. Take, for instance, a lot of you that will be listening to this video, got to know me, got in contact with us through our Facebook ads, and that's what we mean. It allows you time freedom. The interesting thing is that you are not bound by time. You are not. Your heart is there working for you 24 hours. Then it breaks the barrier of location. Take, for instance, you want to sell to more people than your location. Let's imagine that your business, people in your location do not, are not paying you well. You can break barriers with Facebook ads. There's virtually no country you cannot target and sell your product to. There's virtually no state you cannot target. There are people that we've met on Facebook, they are from the north. They're not an ad. It's I quite have a lot of customers from the north. It's quite interesting. I have a good number of customers from the north. And that's one good thing about it. So it helps you break the barrier of location. Then it allows your business to operate 24 hours. You're sleeping, your advert is running. On. <laughs> it's interesting. And if you actually have things for sale, you would have seen that by the time you wake up, you already met others. You've met others. Then it helps you work well and get you helps you in getting good offline customers. The interesting thing with Facebook is there's virtually nothing you want Facebook to do for you that it won't do. Why? Because they have numerous statistics. Facebook is a wish. It's a wish. We're going a to go into the practical of it. So we'll be seeing what we have to say. You can actually use Facebook ads to get offline customers. I'm yes. doing that for one of my clients now. She has a brick and mortar store, and we're using Facebook to direct people to come to come there. And in less than one week. Yeah. Less than she's, gotten, she's, she's gotten an ad spend. We, we spent 10,000 naira running that Facebook ad for a week. And in that, in that one week, she's gotten very good results. In very figures, good, please. Very good. Figures. <laughs> <laughs> About 200,000. So it's worth it. It's worth it. Then the good thing about Facebook ad is that you, 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 you can monitor it and you can adjust. If you see that the Facebook ad is not going in your favor, there is what to do. You can pause it and change the direction. So it's not that ah, once my money is there, the thing is just going, no, 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 no. There's something you can do, you can affect it. All right, so let's get into practical. Practical. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go into practicals. Uh, if, if you have any questions, please. You have to unmute if you have any questions. If you have any questions, you can type them in the comment section. Do you have questions? I'll see them and I'll respond. Okay. So, 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 so. Check. <laughs> yeah, the first thing you need to do when you want to do a Facebook ad is you need to get your business page. It's better to get a business page. But you can just start by opening a page 
on your profile too. To get your business page, you need to go to business.facebook.com. So I'll ask you to log in your normal profile, then you'll be able to open your business manager. I have multiple business managers and I have a couple lot of pages. Once you get that, you get and you get to find your ads manager. These three buttons here shows you all of this display. Your business manager, your ads manager, and you can create ads and all. Billings where you pay, you put money into your accounts, how much. Your saved audiences, assets, things that you have used to run adverts before. Wow, pixels. Pixels. This guy here. Okay, let me just explain what this does in, in a term that you should find it easy to get. You notice that once you check um, Jumia, Jumia's app. advert or some apps, the, the ad just seems to just stay on your screen anywhere you go. <laughs> this thing does you. something like that. When you fire this on an ad, this pixels, Facebook keeps the information of those people for you and you can use it to do amazing things. So when you see adverts following you, they, are, they have pixels fired in there. So with, with these pixels, I can send you an ad. Tomorrow, send you another ad, a follow-up to yesterday's one. <laughs> and I can keep sending you follow-up ads ad like that. that. If it was emails I was sending to you, I will bank on if you open it or not. But when I reach out to you on Facebook, you don't have an I'm option. There, I'm, in your your <laughs> I'm in your face. I'm in your face. I'm in your face. Interesting. So your business manager, your ads manager, this is your audience insights. And your audience insight is actually Whoa. one of the most important tools that Facebook has given us to manipulate their system in our own direction. Audience insights. You can choose to reach out to everyone tool. on Facebook or you can just choose to reach out to people connected to your page if your page is active already. If you have a page that is active, you can just look at, okay, just reach out to people that they are connected, people that are friends of, of my friends and all that. Or what we do generally, you can come and choose where you want to reach. Like where should we reach to? Britain? Nigeria, let's still begin. Kingston. Next. Okay, we should stay in Nigeria. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to Kingston. And yeah. we're not going to Britain. We're staying yeah. in Nigeria. So like, where should we pick in Nigeria? Anywhere. Like. Like, like, let's say Abuja. some people don't like Oyo. <laughs> okay, let's say Abuja. Where in Abuja should we go to? Guarimpa, Kokalada. Or let's just go to Abuja Broad. Now I've typed in Abuja and it's giving me options. Dude, saying I can just speak about anywhere in this place. We want to, to do very lesser targets. Now, once marketing. I do that, Facebook is going to tell me. In this audience, in this place, I can reach to 1.5 million to 2 million people if I'm picking everybody that is around. That's the audience I can reach out to. So if I just do a broad ad and I just pick just this location, I can show it to this amount of people. But like we said earlier, it is important that you know your audience. So what I've done is I've clicked on men only. And it has reduced my audience to between 900 and 1 million. So if what, what you want to sell is just for men, then you can target men. If it's for women, you can target women. For women, I have between 500 and 600K women. Now with this, I do not need to send this ad to everybody. If I want to sell expensive bra, I don't need to send it to guys. Or do I? I'm targeting women. Then I'm using interest to choose the kind of things that would define them. I'm using this interest. Oh, would the person like food and drink? What kind of food and drink? Ah, somebody that will be able to buy my 15,000 naira bra should be able to afford cuisine and restaurants. Should be able to afford dinners. It shouldn't be somebody that goes to um, Mr. Beats, fast food restaurant, and this person should be able to afford diners, coffee houses. This is what Facebook allows us to do. Now, this is a short class. I cannot fully go into all this within this class. At the end of the class, like we said, we'll be making you an offer that can allow you to learn a whole lot more over a long period of time. I understand that as crafters, 
we cannot learn everything like this. Like it took me yes. time to, to get to this <laughs> point. Then you can also target with age range. Yes, if what you want to sell is for a specific age range, you pick. You pick your age range. If you know that this thing, my audience, this particular, my, my, my particular customer is between the age of 18 and 25, you go there and pick it. You can be that detailed. I'm selling to 33 to 44, and he's saying I can reach out to between 100K and 150K people, women in this location. It allows us to be this precise. Yes. There are a whole lot more things that we can look into to determine who we show our ads to. But these are the things that we are allowed to do. Like we said, as you grow, okay, we're saying about you having your objective in mind. Yes, what do you want your advert to do? What exactly do you want to sell? Do you want to just do you do you want people to just know your business? Do you want to get people that you can reach out to again and again? Do you want to drive traffic to a particular place? Maybe you want to sell something, you want them to come on WhatsApp group or your Telegram group, that's traffic. So there are different objectives. You want people to engage with your posts. Yes. You now these two objectives, you can do them anyhow. But for you to run this particular objective, you need to have website. a website. Now, I'm glad website. to tell you that doing a website is not really a big deal. Because you have learned this, this, this is a website under construction. Done by yours truly, Tucker, <laughs> with the assistance of Taya. <laughs> okay. So, it's, it's websites can be this simple. This it can is, be this under simple. construction. It's, it's still under construction. Still under construction. Through Facebook. But this is, this is how simple building a website can be. You, these are things that once you are dedicated to it, or if you stick around us, you will get to learn. You will get to learn. You'll get to learn all of these things. Okay, you don't have any questions yet. All right. I just said I should come and check. Okay, we should go to the slide, Abby. And we're still we're doing practicals. I don't want to spend so much time. That's that. Uh, that's practical on Facebook ad. Mm, we're talking about it's supposed to be to back up in pages. Should them be hardware Okay, these are some of my pages. Where am I running on the present? Running on at the moment. The postal has. Let's go sharing for screen. Okay, this is I think we want to go into some of the things you need to learn to do on, on WhatsApp to market effectively on WhatsApp. I don't know So this this still audience insights. Then to run an effective Facebook ad, you need to, like I said earlier, you need to learn the heart of storytelling. You can't just go there and place it. You need to use very catchy pictures, pictures that when people pass by, you know, generally we go to Facebook to socialize, to look at our friends, look at pictures. So the reason why we will stand by to look at your adverts is because your pictures are catchy. So you need to get to use very catchy pictures. Yes, you need to use very catchy pictures. Okay, let me see the picture I used for the last ad. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let's go to tech. So I think I'm just looking for the picture of the last ad we ran. Now this picture of this lady. Half close, half close, half close. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 
this picture was taken by one of my friends. Is it here? Yes, this picture. Yeah. Now, ordinarily, what has this picture got to do with paying customers? <laughs> but the thing is, if I don't have something that will get people's attention like this, every woman wants to be a superwoman. <clears throat> I will not be able to get people to listen to what I have to say. And this is one of the interesting things about doing ads. You need to get people's attention. Adverts are about getting attention first. It is after you get the attention that you now begin to give customer service that can bring conversions. So you need pictures that are catchy, like this. You need catchy pictures. Come on, come on. Silences. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for this to load new. Show you what, what it's like on the back of it. All right, so here we have yes, some, the of, campaign. some of the campaigns we are running. You can see. All of them have different, different things that they're supposed to do. And some of them are as cheap as 69 Kobo each to run. Some of them are as cheap as two Naira. Some of them are as expensive as 22 Naira. Some of them are as expensive as 42 Naira. 42 Naira. You can see this and one. And they is, have different objectives. You can, can see this see? per lead, per click, per message. There are different objectives that these ads are supposed to perform. Different, different objectives that they are supposed to perform. So this is how we do split test. There are times that we just run all these ads, just see, okay, how would this perform and how would that perform? So there are different things you can do. Okay, if you're looking at this, what we call the campaign. The campaign is the advert proper. While the ad set is simply whom we are targeting and the hard is the hard proper. So, you also have tools that can help you check how these things are performing. Now, there is also tools that you can use on your phone to monitor this and to run your ads on your phone. So you don't necessarily need to have a laptop to do this. I will bring to the class to a wrap. Any question? Please let me unmute her. Let's see. I'll let you stop screen share. Okay. And unmute all. Okay. Or do any have, questions? Yeah, questions. Let's hear you. Yeah. Yes, my do. Okay. I'm I'm listening. Should type in. You can say it. I think we can hear you. About yeah. the creating of those Facebook ads, okay. our audience inside. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, you were talking about. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. You were talking about when you want to run a ad that maybe under this this plan, because I saw some options there yes. like you said without a website you don't have a website you can yes run and hard yes for the for a part let's go back if you want if you want to do conversion if your objective is conversion conversion then you must let's, go back. let's just go to it so move thank you Ask manager, please ask manager. Uh oh. 
Waiting for it to load. We're waiting for it to load. Sorry. Okay, can you see it? Can you see my screen? You can type. Okay. Can you see my screen? Now, what we said is, you want to run awareness. You can do this between your Facebook yes, yes. or WhatsApp. Concentration oh. you can do with your Facebook and WhatsApp. But conversion, if you want to have this objective for your advert on Facebook, then you must have a website. To run conversion objectives, you must have a website. So you understand now. Are you clear? Store traffic, catalog sales, or conversions. You need to have a website. Actually, you need to have an e-commerce website for most of these objectives. Because it's on an e-commerce website, like talkataircraft.com, that you would yes. use into cart. Do you understand? So this is our website, talkataircraft.com. If you were to come here to buy something, you will need to move it to cart. Now, with this kind of website, I can do conversion ads. I can do conversion ads to this website. So once I click on add to cart, I'll have told Facebook how to handle this. So once I do add to cart, Facebook will help me keep this information. Once I click on add to cart here, but if you don't have this kind of website, you, you can cannot use the run objective. This is conversion. You cannot run those kind of ads. You'll be able to you only be able to do awareness and consideration. What's brand awareness? Hey everybody, I'm dancing in the streets. You want people to What's be aware of the Okay, they know me in the body. I want them to know me in the motor. So I'm going further out. What's traffic? I'm now I'm now selling my Market um, where you know should you, where there are a lot of people passing by. Engagement. Also, the people they are just running fast. They don't even ask questions. I'm now selling my market where where which bus stop do people wait? At the like BRT it. bus stop, where Don't people like have it. to wait for the bus and they can now say, ah, this thing that you are selling, how much is it? Okay, I have an app. I want to install the app. Like people that are doing um, what's it called? OPE and those kind of guys. Their yeah, adverts just say install our app, install our app. Yes, this is the ad they're running. Or you want video views. I have something I want to say on a video. Show this to people that would watch the video. So that's what video views does. So even do lead generation effectively. To do this lead generation effectively, you need a website. Because to do when you do lead generation, you are collecting people's emails. It's an email list to reach out back to them. Then you can do messages. Messages can be, they so can they reach out to hand, you they send a message. via Messenger or WhatsApp. You Are understand? You clear? Are you clear? Um, can you hear me? Clear. You're clear, okay? Yes, yes. Any yes. other question? Yes, ma'am. Okay, please do ask. Yes, I can. Okay, sorry. Let me check. Let me check. Hello. I'm with, I'm you. with you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Ma, I want to ask a question, ma. Okay. Maybe someone that is not into maybe importing anything from China that is selling. 
maybe like I have a plan about others refining and packaging of um let me say full stuff like having all these um offer that rise refining I will restart my business on it. To start, maybe I now have a business page. Will I first start with having my own website before I can run it on Facebook? No, you don't need a website to do that. I start having my own business page. Once your business page can do a lot. Actually, on your business page, okay. you can go, you will see somewhere that they wrote shop. On your business page. So you can you can use a shop template on Facebook to upload your product. Okay, shop. Yes, on that your Facebook page. If you look at it, you will see on the left, shop. Okay. Click on shop. You'll be able to you will host a shop for you where you can upload products that you want to sell. So you, you don't need to run it. The website is as you grow. It's, as, it's not an immediate thing. It's not an immediate thing. It's not an immediate thing. So you can okay. make money then you save and you'll be able to build your website by learning or you contract, you contract someone to do it for you i you learned understand. how to make so we're making us ourselves do you understand the two websites i showed you now for one i had to work with somebody and i'm still doing it the other okay one, you, know, you understand so it's, it's not it's not okay you have, you have a website yeah people with this website there are times i run hard That's and i don't use the website, website. When I'm running traffic hard, oh. I use website. Do you understand? I ran ad for this event, and the ad was to bring people into this group. There are times I run my ads, and it is to lead people to my WhatsApp That's why we or said that. Okay. my Telegram. Sure. That's what we were saying about the yes, Okay. Any oh, other? Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 No more. No other questions. Okay. So. Now, if you have a no more question. for now, no. Okay. Look at this video views now. Let's assume you want to show people how clean your rice is, and you do a video. Yes, ma'am. You can choose to show that video to people that are around your locality. So you might just do video views. Let more people see this video and see that on the video they can you have you, you tag it to your locality. So you just show people that are around you. If such people see your next advert, and on that advert they can send you a message either through Messenger or through WhatsApp, they are seeing you a second time. It is easier for them to buy from you. You understand? Do you understand? Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Like somebody I did this ad for. Like the like I just took 40% of our ad yes. spend. And I just did brand awareness. Yes, so sir. People just saw, 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 saw. Then after they had seen for five days, and I came and I said, Oh yeah, come and buy. Do you understand? You understand? We only had for a particular customer of hers. The first the first let's say half of the money we did brand awareness people were just we're just showing people the place. yes yeah it's in your the environment too then wow. subsequently we now told them come and buy so a lot of the social people yes. went to that woman's shop and they said ah we never knew that you have something this lovely do you understand that's why knowing the objectives you want to uh, achieve then there's also knowing how to use these objectives yes a lot of this is like a bit more in-depth than what we can handle in this class in this class a bit more in depth than, like I said, personally, we have learned Facebook ad like seven or eight times now. <laughs> <laughs> because if it is the main thing, uh, if it's the main thing, then you can't learn it too much. Do you understand? An interesting thing is that Facebook is interesting and it keeps, <laughs> it keeps changing. Yes, it keeps changing. Like I showed you Pixels, Pixels is a recent yes, event on Facebook now. So with Pixel, I can do five adverts. And say after the first one, it is only the people that saw the first one that should see the second one. 
after they see the second one tomorrow show them the third one mm. three days time show them the first one three days time show them the fifth one it's interesting facebook is it's doing everything to make sure that our money is well spent so but we'll need to learn to use facebook let's make an offer a subsequent facebook so uh, any other question can you hear me Okay, let's share the, the, the more important information. You want to make an offer? I know, Ma, for now. Oh, no. Okay. I'm clear. Okay. 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 So we have. Yes, Ma. Okay. I'm with you. I think she just answered. Okay, so you can. Okay, talk. so I'll be making my offer. We be having a Facebook training. For one I'm not I'm with Okay. Okay. We have a, we'll be having a Facebook training for one month. One full month. I know you know what that means. We'll be having we we we'll be having a group. Uh, we'll be having a group. Like you will yeah. capitalize, you will come back, give us the we will hold your hands on your Facebook hat. Now it's not just Facebook hat, we'll be teaching you Instagram hat. So for people that have um, pages on Instagram, if you want to learn how to run Instagram ads, this program is very good for you. Apart from Instagram ads, we'll be teaching you how to use WhatsApp for sales. WhatsApp, for WhatsApp sales. is an interesting I sell, marketing I sell, tool. I sell a lot on WhatsApp. I close WhatsApp is an interesting, and WhatsApp is something <laughs> that you do. You, you, you don't spend money on WhatsApp, it's free. I close good deals. So I'll be teaching you the strategies by which I close those deals. Um, I get a lot of views. Actually, to learn, to learn selling on WhatsApp cost me for the five thousand naira. <laughs> <laughs> the person clearly told me that's all I'm going to spend. I'm not spending ad spend like I'm doing on Facebook. And it turned out to be very, very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. There are different ways by which you can market people on WhatsApp and what to do. And another thing that I will be teaching you: Instagram marketing. Instagram marketing is not running Instagram ads. It's how you're going to post on Instagram. To get sales, everything you need to know about Instagram. So those are the things we'll be teaching you. Just to learn Facebook ads, normally will cost you 50k. To learn Instagram ads, will cost you 50k. To learn WhatsApp training, we cost you 10,000 naira. To learn Instagram, we cost you 15,000 naira, and that's about 125,000 naira. But we are making a sweet offer for people that will be taking this thing as fast as possible. 